All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler here with the final episode of the Vanguard character here in the first Mass Effect for the Legendary Edition. This is going to be a long video. Uh, how long exactly? Let's find out. Uh, shit, I think it's like two hours. I wish they'd tell me how much is remaining, but they don't in Windows Media Player. But I, I think it's two hours. Nice clean water. Nice clean water. Clean my water thing today, so I got one of them pure water filter deals in my fridge and cleaned her out today and changed the filter, so I clean it every time I have to change the filter, which is every two months. So, but anyway, we just stole the Normandy from. Um, from the Citadel, and now we're going to head for Asteroid X-57. This is uh, the DLC Bring Down the Sky, and it's the only DLC that made it to this version. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, there is such a sig stigma against um, Pinnacle Station. You didn't really get anything from Pinnacle Station. You just did a few quests, and then at the very end of it, you won an apartment or some stupid shit. And the apartment, all you got was, like, some random items every so often. So, so here we go. Okay, so the goal is simple, shut down the fusion torches. But as you can see, there's some extra stuff you can do here too, which I'm going to do. The first one I always start at start with is this one, because they show it to you right here on the mini-map, so you may as well just do it first. And I don't know why I didn't cut out the driving to it, but whatever. I hope I cut out the driving to the rest of it. So we found a dead worker, it looks like. And he was an engineer, come to find out. And look at that, we found a technician kit, which is a logic arrest tool, and I believe that's an upgrade for Tally. It sort of is. It sort of is. Um, do I end Yes, I do equip it. Okay, so now we're going to head to the next one. You know what? No, I don't cut out the driving because it's not very far. And it's not like you're going to find any minerals on Asteroid X-57. We'll deal with the torch here in a minute. There's something up here I want to deal with first.
Okay, so we'll repair this. And so now they show you where all the survey stations are. There's three of them. We hit one of them already. So there's two more, and now we know right where they're at on the uh, map. Whoa! <laughs> Deep drop. Deep drop distance, everyone. Okay, I know I don't really have to do the turrets. I could just run into the building, but... Fuck it, I want the experience, so... I don't think I'm close enough. There, I got it. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was taking some damage. <laughs> Whoops. We'll repair real quick and then we'll go if I can remember the repair key. Okay. Okay, we all ready, everybody? Well, we're checking things out, make sure there's no hidden items, and there which there isn't. Okay. What's going on? Oh shit! Batarians. Okay. I'm trying to get Tally to... I'm trying to get Tally to blow up the... Boom! That's what I wanted her to do. Blow up that, um... Blow up that, um... Fuel tank, if I can think. <laughs> they can speak. <laughs> and I'm gonna push this son of a bitch or throw him. And then I'll just blow him to shit and then we'll put our guns away because there's no more enemies. We'll get some grenades. We'll open a Storage locker. There we go. Didn't really get anything good out of it. All right. Head on upstairs. That's where the porch control is. Nothing on that side, so we just come on here. And there's the torch control. And we'll just disable it manually. I mean, I could have smeared some Omni Gel on it and it would have been done. I hear you. What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Stay put. I'll get those other torches offline as soon as I can. Thanks. I'll contact you when I can. Okay. Okay, so I do cut out the running out, and... Okay, great. Hey. Hey, it's for horses. Oh, God. I didn't mean to... The fuck were you thinking? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's a tip. Two eyes, human. Four eyes, Batarian. Hey, he's not wrong. Okay, I'll remember that. 
Leave the fighting to me from now on. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance. Simon, Simon Adwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Should I requisition a cow to walk through ahead of me? Right. You can disable them, just not remotely. I didn't have the equipment to set it up differently. You didn't, huh? Manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Four and a half million people are gonna die in a few hours. Don't make me trot out some tired platitude about the needs of many versus few. But if you see them while... No. You're right. Focus on the torches. Exactly, damn it. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That are being held hostage by the Batarians. Time's running short. I better get moving. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard. Okay. Now I believe I go to the next survey station. Is that what I do? Yes, I do. But I mark the torch because I know where the survey station is. I don't know why I didn't cut out the driving, but whatever. Probably because I was like, hell with it, I just want to get this done, and... But it's behind this big, like, mountainous area, so... Which, again, I, I don't know why I didn't cut this out, but, you know... Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well. So this was a radio station. So they put a radio station on this rock. I thought this was a survey station. Apparently it wasn't. <laughs> That's okay. There's the survey station. Okay. I always get confused. I always get confused. That's okay. You know what song they should have played on this, on their radio station? Is Roll Back the Rock to the Dawn of Time from We're Back, a Dinosaur Story. Roll Back the Rock to the Dawn of Time, where the earth was smoking and the lava flowed. Roll Back the Rock to the Dawn of Time. <laughs> now I'm going to listen to that song when I'm done here. <laughs> it was like the season of uh, Hell's Kitchen when Rock was on it and he ended up winning. For some reason, I kept hearing that song every time they mentioned his name. Roll back the rock to the Donna time. <laughs> there we got it. Okay. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around. 
trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. Okay. All right, now we go to the next fusion torch. You know, when you throw the Mako in reverse, it should beep like a truck. That would that would have been kind of funny if Bioware would have done that. <laughs> I could see why they didn't, because it would annoy people, but at the same time, it would be pretty funny. I just love the graphics to this, like how you can see the planet in the horizon. It, it's so cool. It's so cool. You know? Alright, this is a lot easier than you think. And if I were smart, I'd have done it right here. But I know why I didn't. It's so I can kill the turrets. I was looking for other turrets. Do not drive past those beacons. You will instantly die if you do. I want, like I said, I want to kill the turrets to make sure they're all dead. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna stop here and walk. Sorry, there's a lot of feedback. See if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing. This is easier than you think. It, it really is. Even though it's unfair that they get to shoot at you while you're trying to get through this, you know. Slow and easy. Slow and easy. Because I've died to this many times. There we go. Made it through. Now we get our revenge on these pricks. We're gonna throw you. Warp you. Blow you to Tarheje. Boom you. The Batarian Red Rocket Soldier. There we go. <laughs> and there's the disarm controls that he was that Simon was talking about so there them them's done so now we don't have to worry about them going off when we come back through okay there's nothing here so let's go back inside for round two against these bastards we're gonna go upstairs first and take them out upstairs which there's drones up here, which you want to take out first. Throw you. I wanted to throw you off the scaffolding, but... She didn't use it, bitch. There. And everybody else is downstairs. Okay. Okay. Throw you. Uh. I 
I don't know why I chose throw while he was up in the air, but for some reason, I did. All right, and I th think that's everything. It looks like it. So we can just go in, get the treasures in here, and head upstairs and shut this torch down. You think? Their leader's setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. <laughs> yeah, damn it. Please, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Who's shutting down the torches? Hey, technically she doesn't know. You know, in a technical sense, what could she do? Because she really didn't know. Find this problem and deal with it. Get her out of here. Cool, so I cut that out and now I'm driving on back. To the th third torch, it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna kill the, um, kill the turrets, as usual. We got you, we got you, we got you. And we got you. Oh, I'm gonna go in first. I'm gonna go in and shut this torch down first. Cool. I thought I was gonna go to the survey station first. Nope, I'm gonna come here first and shut this down. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing out here, so we'll go ahead and do round three. Release the Baron. Again, if I used sabotage for this instead of overload, I could have really done some damage. Damn, Varen. Alright, and that's it here. Clear. We just run upstairs, or are we going to turn around? No, we're going to turn around. We're going to turn around and check to see what's in here. See what treasures are in here. Just another locker. Okie dokie. Ooh, a grenade storage box. So we'll get two more grenades and then we'll head upstairs and shut this down. Mm. You 
Excuse me. Hey, I got that first try. Yeah, look at that. All right. We shut this torch down. No communication this time because she was captured. So let's head on out of here. You'll see why I didn't cut this one. Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I've got nothing to say to a Batarian terrorist. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Maybe you should take your men and go. Before you get hurt. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Yeah, he probably would. <laughs> Bastard, this whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. You keep listening to this Bollock and you'll end up dead. <laughs> Maybe. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. What Bollock wants, you're dead. And what Bollock wants, Bollock gets. I can't change that. Spoken like a true lackey. You get me out of here and I'll take care of Bollock. Or you can take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Relax. And if I ever see you in human territory again, so are you. Understand? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Okay, and I should have just cut this out and got back into the Mako, but whatever. Whatever. So next, we go to the survey station. There we go. And it is up this hill. So those footprints we'll check in a minute. Or actually, I'm going to check them now. So you go to the east. And it marks on your map where to go, I think. Or no, it doesn't. You have to go east, and then when you find where you're going, it'll say objective. This one, I don't know if I'm going to get first try or not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, I did get it first try. Look at that. I did the last second. <laughs> nice. Okay, now that I read this, now we got to deal with defensive drones. Which, you know, I don't mind. I want extra... Um, I want extra um, experience. Boom. Now all we're missing is the dog to go from duck hunt. <laughs> so we'll mark the um we'll mark the main facility, but we go east here. And there's what we were looking for, right here. Securing 
And we get a Polaris Omni Tool. And I don't know why I check it because. Okay. Now, these turrets are a little different here at the main facility. They move back and forth. So you have moving targets. Which is kind of cool that it, they changed it up a little bit. I got that one. Oh, I got that one while it was moving. Oh, I got that one while it was moving too. <laughs> Them were pretty good shots, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, into the main facility we go. All right, grenade storage box for some grenades. Get your guns out, and we're going to be in for a firefight. Boom. Boom. Nothing down here. Nothing over here. Where are they at? Oh, there is one down there. Look at that. And they're all up there. That's where they're at. They're all up there. See, I always get confused in this one. Because it's so hard to navigate and figure out where everyone is. And And we threw him over the barrier. Or the... Guardrail, whatever. Blow him to shit. And we... There's another... Few guys we need to kill. We killed him by just shooting that. <laughs> Hell yeah, and I think there's one up here. Yep, there is. Shock Trooper. And dead he goes. And there's one left. He's inside the building down the stairs. He's just a little weakling, and I don't even know why the Batarians brought him when he's nothing but a little pussy, but whatever. Die. You humans. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Valak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. 
How does killing innocent people make up for that? I could ask you the same thing. How many innocent Batarians died at Torfin? <gasps> or had you forgotten about that? Torfin was retaliation for your attack on Elysium. You pushed, we pushed back. Exactly. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. I'm not letting a terrorist like you go free. Do what you want with the others, but it'll be the last thing you do. I hope this is worth it! Damn, he actually did it. I'm gonna enjoy cutting you. Now, this barrier, you just shoot it a bunch of times? Just to open it up? You run up here? And you chase these bastards around in a circle like this for some freaking reason? I don't know why they like running. But they do, because they're pussies. Oh, I know why. It's so they can get to the turrets. Throw you. Oh, he survived. Well, he didn't now. Uh. There, he got him. Nice job, Rex. Now we got Balak left. He's downstairs. He's hiding like a little pussy downstairs. Ooh. Point blank. Oh, we are. But you're no better than us. I gave you a chance to save them, and you threw it away. Who's the real terror? You? <laughs> You'll have to do better than that if you want to stop us. <coughs> One day soon, the human race is going to pay for what it's done. <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> you think killing me will make a difference? The Batarians have stayed hidden long enough. We won't be ignored. Not anymore. Thousands more like me waiting their turn, each one willing to die for our cause. Yeah? What? What do you want? Details? It doesn't matter. It's too late for you. When the fits flash with images of your colonies in flames, you'll know the Batarian Rebellion has begun. <laughs> Who's your leader? Who's orchestrating all this? <laughs> I'm through talking. Just kill me. Get it over with. Killing you is too much of a mercy. You can die. Slowly. That? <laughs> this isn't over! <laughs> this is just the beginning for the Batarian Nation! <laughs> safe you're standing in the open you haven't been shot what do you think <laughs> exactly I thought I should be here I know this asteroid better than anyone you did it another hour in our course would have been irreversible I ran the numbers Shepard x57 would have struck near the capital city the most densely populated region but that's not going to happen thanks to you have you found Katie and her team? Balak murdered Katie and the others. Blew them up with a bomb. All of them? Katie? And her brother? Everyone? Yeah. How did this happen? I thought you were... Couldn't you save them? No. You need to understand something. Not everyone out here in the big bad galaxy likes humans. It's not safe. Some days the bad guys are gonna win. You ask me? The good guys made out pretty well today. So this son of a bitch, this Balak... You're letting him bleed to death? Damn right I am. I think he deserves a slow death. If anyone asks me, he was dead when I got here. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. 
It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. Do I need that? You can take what you need. The quarrying armor is really rare. The medium armor sounds like a good bet. But I need the medium armor. And the three engineers, I did find all three, so you can turn them in right now. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well, then. I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Okay, so this medium armor I got, the Colossus. It is the best armor in the game. So I went ahead and cut all that out because all I was going to do is run back to the uh, Mako and come back to the ship. So fuck it. I just cut it out and here I am. Yep, we're going to Ilos. Yes, I did put on the Colossus armor. That's why I did that um, DLC mission. So this was a hidden world of the Protheans. They had a hidden um, facility here. Oh, what's this? Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Go ahead. I'm listening. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. I want this, Liara. I do. But are you sure you're ready? Damn right I want this! <laughs> I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Hell yeah! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Hell yeah! So Shepard's getting a crack at that blue pussy. Boonhound Shepard strikes again. I'm blue, da boo dee da boo die. <laughs> That's what Shepard's thinking right now. <laughs> By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Ready for round two? Damn right. <laughs> Commander. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. I can wait another ten minutes. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Dig us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. 
Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. I don't know why I bring Liara in this, but I do. I know why, and you'll see why later on in this mission. Because she is a Prothean expert. So I wanted her to come in to the Prothean um, facility. Yep, 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 yep. That's why. That was my mindset. Joker's in the Normandy yelling, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub! <laughs> we we'll have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. You think? Some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Yay. Okay, so we work on Liara. We're gonna max out her throw, I think. No, we're gonna max out her barrier first. And then possibly her singularity, yep. And... Uh, uh, warp? Yeah, I do. Okay. Here we go! Crossfire! I check all the armor that we have. Liara doesn't seem to get an. Oh, Titan! We want a medical exoskeleton and. Combat, I think, would have been the better one. But I did find we have a better medical exoskeleton. There we go. And we have a better weapon for Liara. The brawler... Yeah, we don't have shit for upgrades for her. So we'll put on a scram rail. Inferno rounds would be the way to go, I think. There we go. That car... Of IX is better. Come on, equip it. There you go. Perfect. And there you go. Um, what are we checking for Liara? I don't know what, but okay, we're good. Okay, so here we go. Boom, we got them. Boom, motherfucker, you're dead. Haha. <laughs> 
Overload. Use her overload. There you go. Air. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, don't worry about killing every single enemy. There's no need to. Um, sure, you get experience, but really, I just want to end this game. Hey, we're halfway through the video already. Look at that. And how many? Oh, yeah, it's been about an hour. So, yeah, I thought this was a two hour video. All right. So, like I said, this is going to be the final episode for this series. I just rushed through the ending because I'm so powerful that I can just do it, you know? And this one's kind of hard to navigate, too. Um, yeah, you go this way, and then you... You constantly see me looking at the map, so... I can figure out, am I going the right way? Because it's so easy to get stuck in a corner and you know here we go we're going the right way now we're going the right way throw you to the ground overload your ass boom Lift the destroyer. Singularity. Lift and singularity are two that you want to combine. Because singularity will draw everything um, into one spot. Now this one, I think think is not the one we need to go to, but we'll see in a second. Okay, we missed one wherever the hell it is. There we go. See, now I'm reaching the limit for items, but fuck it. I'm to the point I just don't care anymore, so... Yeah, see, I went to the wrong spot. See, they trick you. They trick you here, and I, I don't like it. I, I wish they would never do that, but... They do, so... Again, that's just to pad the gameplay more than anything. Is it? Yeah, it's this way. Up the hill. Okay. Sappers. I was trying to get Singularity in a spot so I could um, get all the sappers into one spot. And I keep forgetting, oh yeah, dummy, you have upgrades for biotic amps. For... Um, Liara. Oh, I got them both in one shot. Look at that. That's cool. That is so cool. I get the misconception in um, this game 
In 2 and 3, Singularity ends up being like this big vortex, and it sticks around for, I think, like 10 seconds, and anything that walks up to it will get um, drug into it. You don't need to hack these because um, they're meant to help you against the Prime. But, fuck it, like a man, I took them down myself. <laughs> Alright, up here we go. And you open the security panel. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches- Actually, we already did, Liara, and so did you. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. All right, let's get the hell out of here and get back to where we need to go. Well, here's a box we need to open. Not really, but I'll open it anyway. Oh, it's a 300 item limit. Oh, and I, I leveled up for that, too. Look at that. I'm going to do Master Overload. Look at that. <laughs> nice. All right. Um... I think I do warp. Yep, I do warp. For you. And for you, I do basic armor. To get you more defense. Yeah, and if I were to max these characters out, um, I would max out basic armor for Tally. Yep, I sure would. Alright. Now, we come in here, and this gives you the shortcut back to where you need to go. Oh, there's a crate I need to open, too. Though I could have skipped it, but fuck it. I'll, I'll just do it. Nay, hey, I got first try. Cool. Alright, yes, I know there's a couple enemies here, but I'm not going to go after them. Fuck them. You know, I just want to get through this and be done with it. And there's the Mako. But I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. 
I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saturn would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The per okay. I didn't slow down and let them talk because, fuck it, I just wanted to get through this. Pretty much they say, oh, those look like stasis pods. It looks like the Protheans were trying to uh, sleep their way through the Reaper um, invasion. Everything will be revealed here in a minute. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. Okay. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. 
Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's Master Control Unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's Master Control Unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the Conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. All right. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. We're in a race to save the galaxy and you want to play Q&A with a hologram? You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... We should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay, let's get out of here. And now we go straight for the conduit. Now that we know what the conduit actually is, it's a back door to the Citadel. So the Protheans figured out how the mass relays worked. They didn't forge them, they just found them. So they figured out how they worked and made their own mini mass relay. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. 
they failed. Just like my people. But they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. Okay. So now it's just a straight shot to the conduit. Well, somewhat of a straight shot. really don't have to kill these guys. You could just keep running through if you wanted. But again, I go after the experience. Again, rinse and repeat, you kill all the geth and then keep going down the path. Yeah. See, it makes me wonder if I should have turned this down to 30 FPS. Because I'm getting a lot of screen tearing. Incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. No, they're not. But it's actually a lot easier than you think. Saren's made it. Okay, we are going. So pretty much you just rush through this. Don't worry about killing anyone. Just rush through this. Hang on. Things are going to get rough. Yes, they are, but I fucked up a little bit, but we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. And we made it. We made it. All right. Critical failure is detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Okay, so that mini um, mass relay is the conduit. 
from Ilos to uh, the Citadel. Now we're back on the Citadel. Here we go. Boom, boom, and up the elevator we go. For another cutscene. You think your puny little ships are going to stop something like that? Here we go. This is just simple. You just run through, kill anything in your way. As you can see, I'm not even trying at this point. Boom. 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 Rogan Warlord. Throw you, just get you out of my way. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Just like Kofi Kingston, it's like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, I got two with one shot. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I missed that throw. But I got him in the face. As you can see, I'm way overpowered for this. <laughs> now, this is where it's going to get fun. Now, we open these defense turrets. And we let the defense turrets take out the dropship. There we go. I don't know why I didn't turn that one on, but whatever. While we wait, we just, um... Kill every one of these little bitches that get dropped out of this ship. Okay, they're dead. The ship's gone, so we'll go ahead and head on through. Some more Krogan. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. A prime. Or no, it's a juggernaut. And then I take I get a facial for some reason. He blew his load on us. <laughs> this one gets kinda fun too. Now we get to kill get turrets. This is not hard to do, you just blow it everything to shit and then you I don't know how the Geth were able to get turrets on the um oh shit I about died on this there we go there we killed it There we go. Boom. Boom, bastard, die. And there we go. We're now getting into the Citadel Tower. I don't know why I set myself up for Carnage. I think I hit it. I hit the uh, key by accident. These guys are nothing. They're just Goombas, you know. Boom, boom. Yeah, you shouldn't have even stood up. Ugh. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? 
In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I'm heading to that master control panel, and you can't stop me. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. Yeah, that's true. I had no choice. You saw the missions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrender. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Now, since I had full um, Renegade, I was able to talk my way through that. If you didn't have full Paragon or Renegade, you would have had to fight Saren right then and there. And it would have been the same just like Vermeer. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? Right. This is a stress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Fuck the Council. Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. Yeah, they treated us like shit, man. Good. I only pray it is not made in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel.
Make sure he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, they screwed up with Liara right there. The lady should have said he is dead. try to do here down no matter what the cost. The thing about shotguns, you never want to um, hold the aim button. There he's dead. Cool. Cool beaners. and we still died.
We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. Hey, you had that coming to you. For what I did. If the Normandy were still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. You have a plan? The galaxy needs leadership, real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone, humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before, and they don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know where their only hope. We will have a human Council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny. Damn right. And that is the end of the game. The Normandy flies off into the galaxy. So, those of you that may not know, Joker's voice is Seth Green. I didn't know that for the longest time. Somebody had to point that out to me. But anyway, that is the end of the game. That is the end of this series. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Of course, I will be importing this character into Mass Effect 2. I can also import the character into Mass Effect 3. So, anyway, I will just see y'all in Mass Effect 2.